Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Blocks and Generates Press. In the last video, I demonstrated the transform options available in GB Pro using this simple container here. And in this video, we're going to apply these options on a couple of templates from the template library in GB Pro. Let's get started. We will first select a template library block. And for our first demo, we will use content one. Let's take a look at the block navigation and see how this template was built. So first we have a very outside container. Inside the container, we have a headline block, followed by a grid wrapper with two containers inside. Inside the first container, we have a single image block. Inside the second container, we have three headline blocks with icons. Now let's add some transform effects on the headline block. First, we will add a scale applied to all devices. State, we will use hover target, we will use self, and scale, we will go with 1.1. Now let's take a look. Let's add transition so the effect is smoother. Next, let's add an effect to just the icon. So we'll add transform, type, rotate, all devices, state hover, target icon, and 360 degree. Let's go ahead and also add in the transition. Let's take a look. We will add another effect to the icon so that it gets closer to the text after the rotation. We will use translate, all devices, state hover, target icon again, and let's do 20 pixel in X. Now let's take a look. Now that we're done with the transform effects, we can also add some box shadow so add effect, devices all, state, hover again, target self, let's do 10 pixel of horizontal offset, 10 pixels of vertical offset, and 15 pixels of blur. So for this headline block, we've added a total of three transform, one box shadow, and two transition. To quickly add the same effects to the next two headline block, 
we will use the copy and paste styles from GB Pro. Select the next headline block, paste styles, and then the last one. Let's do the second demo. We will add another template library block. This time, let's go with a pricing table. Again, we will quickly go over the structure you have a very outside container. Inside, you have a grid wrapper with three containers. Each container has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven headline blocks and a button. The first thing we're going to do is to add a custom class to the pricing table titles. Now let's select the first container. And add some effects. For the first one, we will use translate on all devices, state hover, and negative 10 pixels of translate Y. We will go ahead and add the transition and take a quick look. Now let's add a scaling effect to the button. State hover. Target, we will go with custom selector. Scale 1.1. Add in the transition and take a look. Let's add another effect to the button. This time we'll use skew. All hover custom selector and GB button. We will use 10 degrees of skew X. Let's take a look. Lastly, we will add an effect to the pricing table titles. We will use a scale type on hover, custom selector with the class that we've just added. 1.1 for scaling and add transition. Take a look. So far we've added 
four, transform effects, and three, transitions. Let's also add a box shadow. Zero point four for opacity. Twelve for horizontal offset. Let's go with twenty pixels for vertical. Ten for blur and five for spread. change the state to hover. Now let's take a look. Let's again use the copy style and paste it into the other two containers. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.